Welcome to another episode of the Headlight Restoration Pro, where you'll be seeing headlights like this turn into something just like this. Picture perfect perfection, better than the day rolled off the lot. You be the judge. All done during one of the last rainy days of this season. Stay tuned. I know you better than you know yourself. I never had a camera in my head. Television in the eye. I am afraid. That's why you can't leave. Let's go. Let's get down to business. This is a 2016 Toyota Camry, very popular car, and it is very much prone to go bad, uh, as far as the headlights go anyways. These cars will last forever, and they'll outlast the headlights uh, indefinitely. Um, basically, um, you know, they're pretty bad. These ones don't have too much of a uh, clear coat left, but um, as you see at the top, there's a lot of oxidation and stuff like that. I'm gonna show you how to get into things um, you know that will help you in your restorations where you have headlights like this this is the list of things that are going to be used in uh, the video um, if you need to cross-reference what I'm using uh, you know just go ahead and come back to here and it'll tell you everything that I'm using on the video also this is going to be more of a quiet video I'm trying to get it out here I've been extremely busy um, with the weather changing and whatnot. So I'll be queuing in in certain key spots uh, about certain things that I want you to know about. But other than that, enjoy the show. You want to hit this top half pretty good. Um, it's going to go down a little deeper because it has that uh, yellow tint to it. And that's the main source of the degradation of the headlight is that yellow top. Let me show you how to get the top of these lights. You're going to run into this in a couple lights, especially this uh, vehicle. Um, it's quite difficult. You don't want to work the drill too much. You want to uh, hit it by hand. And you also want to make sure you do it wet to um, not put any kind of uh, striations or scratches in there as well. And you also want to hit that back lip because uh, if you don't hit that, you're going to get that yellow tint shining through.
make sure that you uh, dry off all of the uh, moisture or whatever before you get started back again because uh, once again the moisture or wet sanding technique is a lubricating technique we're not doing that we're doing a um, real true heavy restoration on the highest level When you're hand sanding, you're looking for that smooth uh, finish, uh, you know, that real chalky, real smooth to the touch type finish. This means a lot in your finished product. Uh, you want that crystal clear clarity, you're going to really pay attention to this spot as well, or the step, excuse me. Sure what you're saying. <laughs> okay. What's that? How much you charge to do that? It depends on the vehicle. For this vehicle? This one? Let me see real quick. And then also, um, I got a Mercedes SUV. I'd want it done too. Okay. Uh, well, like a combo. Don't have to worry about um, you know scratching or anything like this on uh, this step. It's okay to press a little harder. Um, but you know, you're just gonna pretty much burn out your disc uh, way before it's time. So you just nice even pressure.
always use a clean towel on this step. So you don't breathe this in. Okay. Yeah. I should be about another 25 minutes and we'll be right. done. Yeah, you, you want any water, like an iced tea or something? Uh, water would be great. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh -huh. There you go, another successful headlight restoration. Um, customer satisfaction guaranteed as always. Even in this tough weather, I can always pump out a good headlight restoration. Nothing can really stop me, nothing can stop you if you just don't let it. Stay tuned for the next episode. Thanks for watching, appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe. I know you better than you know yourself. You never had a camera in my head. Why you can't leave? Let's go.